This is Skull Babylon reporting here in downtown London. And today we're doing something special. Today is car free day here in London, Ontario. But in addition to all the other wonderful organizations and events that are happening here downtown, myself and Justin and more of people within the Paradigm Shift community are setting up a booth here today to help raise consciousness within our own community. So just to give you a quick background, Paradigm Shift London is a youth-initiated community that encourages open-mindedness, healthy living, and the evolution of consciousness. The community was something that I started a few years ago, and since then, it's grown. And today, we are here taking part, handing out consciousness-raising buttons, and helping make more people aware of the fact that a community such as Paradigm Shift London exists in the first place, so that they are welcome to come out to our weekly meetings which take place at the uh, Moksha Yoga Studio and uh, these meetings are referred to as Consciousness Camp. And basically they're an uh, open forum discussion where people can come out and talk about things commonly less talked about in public spheres such as topics like meditation, spiritual philosophy, conspiracy theories, UFOs, you name it. So is that why you guys started it? Because you didn't really have any like anyone else other than yourselves to uh, talk about yeah, this? Like, yeah, like, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know him when he started it and like you know, like it's just really interesting all the people we meet and like the circumstances that happen and like how it all seems to be tied together with co coincidence for some yeah. mysterious reason. Like, are you are you familiar with uh, the term synchronicity? Um, I know the basics of it. Like synchronicity would be like coincidence with meaning, I guess you could say. So a lot of uh, my sort of realization was I started having these synchronicities a lot, where I was like meeting the people who were also interested in stuff in just extreme situations where it's like, if I had gone the other way, I wouldn't have met them, right? But somehow the universe brought us together. So then with that idea and that understanding in mind, I like created this group and I knew that if I were to create it, I would start running into like-minded people and other people who were interested in this stuff would like start finding the group. Like the universe would literally start like pulling us together, so. So do you think like everything that happens is something that the universe has like uh, chosen like your destiny for you or it's like, it's kind of like a chance it's kind of I think I think yeah, it's kind of like half and half like I think the universe sets opportunities right in front of us but it, we have to have that free will and that awareness to be able to recognize them and to utilize them because like that's kind of the universe is always working in these synchronicities so you might be like standing at a bus stop with someone who could be very insightful and have a huge conversation with you but unless you initiate that conversation like that you're not going to go down that path right so it's about you having to be like meet the universe halfway and have to be open and have to be like willing to embrace like some of the opportunities that might come out of the blue so yeah it's intense man like once once you start uh once you start like realizing some of this stuff it starts like accelerating it starts happening more frequently in your own life so, um, so. writing it down so a, a group like this a community like this is really cool because for a lot of people it's um it's like the start of like a whole new chapter in their life where like things dramatically start accelerating so and they start like and it's like exciting too you know because they start having like you were saying with uh you were having like your own dream experiences like a lot of people start having that they start having visceral experiences once they start researching a lot of this stuff like the universe like sort of recognizes that they're interested and it sort of like gives them more back so yeah paradigm shift is about coming out to a group and a community of people to express valuable ideas or share what's on your mind and have feedback and a communal discussion with a group of like-minded individuals it kind of gives you a chance to express or delve into or toy with and experiment on different met metaphysical or esoteric ideas that you wouldn't be able to bring up from day to day with regular people or in normal situations. I feel like this whole idea allows you to develop and progress in your own mental and emotional and spiritual endeavors to progress past any obstacles or receive help or guidance in things you might be struggling with or ideas which might be helpful and applicable to your situation. We're all in this together, right? Yeah, we're all in this together. We might not have it all together, but together we have it all. People have to understand that the shift is not something external to them. The shift is you. So take the action that is required in order to help make this world the change that you want it to see. So if this means creating a community like Paradigm Shift London, then do it. 
please use the term paradigm shift, use the term consciousness camp. These are specifically designed terms that are going to help people understand what you're presenting to them. You don't need to make something incredibly specific by calling it the uh, super spirituality friends club or something like that, right? That's just going to ostracize people. One of the things that I've come to understand is that the world, the universe, has the power to bring things together. These things can be people, these things can be ideas. So through the magic of symbols and images and art, we're using consciousness raising buttons to help plant a seed that will eventually grow into something incredibly beautiful. And when other people see these symbols, such as buttons, then it's going to help tap into a part of their consciousness that they may not even be aware of. So someone who may not be interested in any of these spiritual ideas or whatever will see one of these consciousness raising buttons and then suddenly their interest will be piqued and they'll be drawn towards it and it might push them in the right direction where they'll start doing more research and gain more interest on their own. The Paradigm Shift community is interesting to attend because you get to kind of hear people from all different walks of life, their insights and uh, their own experiences of life and uh, that's what I find interesting is just how much I can learn about myself through um, hearing others speak. Rather than like just listening to theories and reading stuff about facts or someone else's claims of facts, facts. To, be actually, to be actually be able to put into practice something and see for yourself if it is true for sure. Um, that that's that's kind of that's kind of what we're what I'm exploring. It's like you know I can I can read so many websites about so many theories, but how do I put it to the test? Exactly. So I'm only interested in really exploring exploring theories that, that I can turn into a practicality. Like Almost to the nature of science, where you're pure observation, right? And then you're actually observing stuff to get that experience. I mean, for me, I went through the whole ropes. I was an Alex Jones follower for years. And then I came to the realization, like, well, he yeah, he does have information, but... It's, it's not the point. The point is everything in between that people are not focusing on. They're focusing on the literature instead of actually having the experience. I mean, one thing I can say for Paradigm Shift is that through the spirit science, through the um, the people who I know with meditation that I've seen on the videos, I forget his name now, but he, he taught you how to go through with your spirit guide in terms of um, seeking visions and, and just to meditate and calm and, and I tried that one day and that, that was the first real truth to me where I actually had a vision and I could see like I look outside and I see buildings and such I see it real day real time and this vision was the same way and it was short very short but I had that and to me that was enough proof in the pudding to say look this is real spirituality and being able to open your third eye if you will or your mind um, to be connected and I think that's more the point that it'd be nice to see people go towards. So just a quick update, it's about 2 p.m. and so far it's been going great. You know, a lot of the stuff that's been happening isn't really something that we can put a camera in people's face with, but we've been having a lot of good conversation with people who are generally interested in this stuff. And that's basically the idea, like, we don't necessarily have to walk up and down these streets trying to find people. When you set up a table like this, the people who are interested will find it and that's kind of the way the universe works. So we're doing our job and we're being here and we're keeping an open door for people who are interested in this kind of thing and that's what I encourage you to do is just present this stuff in your community, keep an open door and people who are interested in it will find it. What does Paradigm Shift community mean to me? It means open discussion um, about different things like dreaming is something I'm interested in and we've kind of talked about the idea of everyone in the group writing down their dreams for a full week and then coming back together the next week and comparing dreams and also expanding our knowledge, expanding um, these ideas out to other people who are not familiar with um, energy touch healing, not familiar with lucid dreaming. Um, if you're not familiar with lucid dreaming, then how can you explore it further? So it's important to learn about this sort of stuff so you can keep exploring as an individual. Based on my own understanding, this matrix that we live in, there's certain aspects to it, there's certain elements to it that can be tapped into, almost in the sense of hacking. You can use the system to accelerate the events unfolding within it. So just a quick tip in terms of uh, helping create the spiritual revolution, 
wear things like necklaces. So for instance, I wear this uh, quartz Merkaba pendant. Something like this is something that I can either have on the inside of my shirt or on the outside of the shirt. When I have it on the outside, people who are around me are going to be attracted to its energy and they're going to notice and they're going to say, hey, nice necklace, you must be interested in some sort of spiritual relationship with the Merkaba. And I'm like, yeah, you know, that's right. So let's talk about it some more. So if you have things like necklaces, if you have things like buttons, wear these things. These things are going to help instigate synchronistic events within your own life and they're going to help accelerate the way how things unfold. Buttons are the revolution of the future. If you have buttons, then you have the button to change the future. That's the third eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're actually what it looks like inside the brain. Yeah, the hemisphere is like the brain. Like when you split it in half, actually map out almost like that. And they would know this because the Egyptians like did a lot of dissection and studied the brain and everything. So they would know what it looks like. 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 They would know what like that basically to me in a simple sense represents awareness like awareness of self awareness of like higher consciousness and stuff but so. each part of it has yeah those has buttons like are free you can have a button 316 like yeah it actually maps out like uh, numerical yeah. ratios ratios yeah, yeah. like sacred so ratios different ratio for uh, something uh, mild crazy explanation oh my god you guys I will not make this one the best. I think that way you won't get kicked off that, 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 been like, oh yeah, that's kind of like what it is. You know what I mean? So we like come, we have to make up our minds. So like, so we, we gotta talk about this stuff. Yeah, it's changing the world <laughs> just by talking about it. The grid, energetic grid, man. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <High five. laughs> So, um, just to prove to the fact that you are a powerful being and you can do anything that you can conjure up within your dreams, um, I'm going to do a backflip because you can do a backflip too. So. Okay, that was good. I'm going to do another one. Alright, here, back up a little further. The shift is you. So you have to do something about it, which means affirmative action, which means taking the time to better yourself, and as you develop your own awareness, you'll be better and more capable to interact with other people and help them do the same, because we are all students, we are all teachers in this path in life, and we all have something to add to the puzzle. So things are just wrapping up here, and it's been a successful day. I mean, we did not have to go around handing out buttons to every person we saw. We didn't have enough buttons to hand out to everyone who we saw. The people who were interested in buttons were the people who came to the table and grabbed a button for themselves. And these were people of all ages because anyone has the right to be interested in this reality that we are all a part of. So I encourage you to maintain that interest and to encourage other people to create that interest within their own life and to start acting on it and to be the change that you want to see in the world. I cannot stress that enough because if you want to be a part of this shift, you can't just sit around and talk about it all day on the internet. You have to go out there and you have to interact with your community and you have to start creating those ripples because when you start interacting on a physical level, that's when the magic starts happening. So go create some magic. This is Skull Babylon and see you in the future. Do you plan on starting your own Paradigm Shift community? Then please, by all means, use some of the graphics that we have designed for ours, or create your own. To help get you started, check the info in the video description for links on a poster template as well as button templates and where to find a button maker. As always, feel free to add me on Facebook and join the Paradigm Shift London community to see what we're up to. Now remember, stay focused, stay motivated, and you'll help change the world.